The Palina upgrade is soon coming to Kronos EVM and it will shake things up drastically. But what is this Palina upgrade exactly and what does it mean for Kronos? Well guys, I would say let's strap in and let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the one and only Coin Baron and next Thursday, the 12th of December, the Palina upgrade will go live on the EVM Kronos network. And honestly, this is going to be the biggest upgrade in the existence of Kronos. And no one seems to bat an eye. So to change that, in this video, we're going to do a complete deep dive into the Palin upgrade and what it means for you as a Kronos user and as a Crow holder. So guys, make sure you're strapped in by also hitting the like button and of course subscribing for more. The Palin upgrade will happen at block 17155000. And because it will have breaking changes, there will also be a one hour pause of the complete EVM chain. So no Explorer, no transactions, no smart contract execution. So really guys, one hour of complete silence for the Kronos EVM chain. And you can find the countdown in the link down below. Once the validators are running again, the chain will go live with a big set of changes. For example, optimistic execution will have reduced network overhead, but the most important one being parallel transactions. And guys, of course, we'll go through all of the changes. But let's start with the last one, because guys, if you scroll down, we can directly see that this EVM Palin upgrade will introduce the fastest transaction processing capabilities ever seen on the network. And not just a bit, but by a wide margin. With the new method of parallel transactions, they can increase the network throughput from about 100 transactions per second to tens of thousands of transactions per second. So really increasing it by a big, big margin. And for comparison, guys, currently Visa can process about 24,000 transactions per second. So with tens of thousands of transactions, definitely, guys, Kronos is ready for, for example, the stablecoin introduction on the Kronos network. With this Palin upgrade, the Kronos Lab team thinks they are becoming future-proof for the Web3 industry. But before they can really start processing all these transactions, of course, first we need more volume on the chain as well. So volume of user transactions. That's also necessary because all these blocks, guys, do need to get paid. It is not completely free, of course. And they do mention that, well, we need more volume to also pay for these network validators here. Nevertheless, Palin is a revolutionary step on the Kronos scalability journey. And to set things into perspective, they also release some benchmark results. So here, guys, in this graphic, you can take a look at these yellow bars here. And they provide the max transactions per second they recorded in their benchmark run. And especially this one here. This one, about 56,000 transactions, so very close to 60,000 transactions, is very, very impressive, guys especially because this was just running on one validator, MacBook Pro, simply a laptop that run about 60,000 transactions on the chain. And if you can compare that with other blockchains, guys, we can go right now to chain inspect. And you can see, if you sort here, max recorded transactions per second, we can see ICP did about 25,000. 25, and that was the highest result, right? That's still only half of about that 60,000 recorded with this benchmark run. And of course, guys, it's also above other chains, like for example, Aptos, Solana, Algorand, Hbar, BNB chain, very important one. So honestly, it is blazing, blazing, blazing fast. I do have to mention though that still the max theoretical TPS here is higher for some other chains, but hey, of course, we're taking a look right now at benchmarks, not at theoretical numbers. Honestly, I cannot stress enough how big this is for the Kronos chain. We were a really mediocre chain with bad finality, slow transaction time. But right now, guys, we're becoming one of the fastest out there. And of course, I do have to mention that probably they tested it on the testnet. But if it's any representative of how it will be on the mainnet, honestly, guys, hats off to the Kronos Labs team here. Next to the parallel transactions, they also worked on cleaning up right now the network overhead. And that will result, guys, in optimized fees and gas validation. So probably a quicker and cheaper chain in use, which, of course, is always nice. 
But the other big thing that we will get with this upgrade is a new version really of the Cosmos SDK. And that comes for example right now with optimistic execution in SDK 0.5. Optimistic execution is somewhat similar as what we see with optimistic rollups, like for example, optimism. But here what we see normally, guys, this block is really waiting for voting to conclude. So validators vote if it's a valid block. But with this optimistic execution, it is not waiting. And right now, it is start processing in parallel during still the voting period. And that makes things a lot quicker again. And finally, they are improving on the interchain execution. So guys, if other chains are also running on Cosmos and the Atom network, it is right now becoming easier and easier to also operate together with Kronos, which guys is great for this cross-chain future. Overall, I'm really bullish about all the changes in this Pauline upgrade, but especially that 60,000 transactions per second, that is absolutely mental. And I also do envision guys a future where there will be multiple autonomous AI agents that will all trigger their own transactions. And really, if that's going to happen, guys, the amount of transactions on chain is going to ramp up really quickly. So I do think we need upgrades like this to also stay relevant in the upcoming future. So all looking good. There's one thing though, guys, that I'm still a bit on the fence about, and that's the ZK EVM network. What about ZK EVM? And about that, Ken also had his last few words. So let's take a look at his looking ahead. So they start by saying that the Kronos Pauline upgrade will lay a strong foundation for the platform's future. But then they also start to mention Kronos ZK EVM, which newly launched in 2024. And they do mention it's the best blockchain network for users and developers seeking full integration with Ethereum and its layer twos together with decentralized security of Ethereum. So really guys, they are emphasizing you want security of Ethereum, you want interchain with other Ethereum networks, well, then you need ZK EVM. But then they talk a bit more about Kronos EVM and they say, well, it's all main layer one solution and it retains significant room to actually grow. It is well placed to compete for use cases that require hyper fast transactions, for example, TradFi payments, web free games and NFTs. So there you have it. They do want to maintain two separate chains. And I do a bit struggle with that for because honestly, right now, ZK EVM is also quite fast and is currently the cheaper offering for the Kronos network. But OK, let's see, guys, what they will also do in the roadmap. And I will talk about that roadmap for the Kronos network in a future video. So make sure, you guys, you like this video and also subscribe for more. But if you want to learn more specifically about that ZK EVM network, you can check out this video in the top right corner. I first of all, I want to talk a bit about, well, the Kronos token. Looking at the CRO price, I currently do not see a big effect of the Perlene upgrade. However, I also think it has not really been marketed well by the Kronos Labs team. However, I think once everything is in place and Crypto.com also starts pushing their stable coins on Kronos EVM, suddenly we start to generate quite a bit of gas fees. And I do believe, guys, I do believe that part of their strategy is to also start burning gas fees as well for the Crow token. So the more use of the chain and with, of course, 60,000 transactions per second, we can use the chain a lot. We can also burn a lot of CRO, which can have a very positive effect on the CRO token. So in my humble opinion, I do believe, guys, that we will surpass that $1 level for CRO easily. The question really is how high will we go? But I think this is a great foundation, guys, for future success. With that in mind, though, I do not give any financial advice. And personally, I do have quite a lot of CRO myself. Check out this video, guys, if you want to see why I actually bought 1 million crow.